Is we want to turn our attention straight over to Gauzy. This was an IPO at the NASDAQ. Today, let's get right into it and welcome in the CEO, Eyal Pesos with us, co-founder, CEO of Gauzy. Congratulations to you and the team, G-A-U-Z folks. You can check it out. Um, today was your day. You know, you had your IPO, $17 a share. Tell me a little bit about your day today. How did it feel to finally bring this public the way you did? Thanks for having me. And um, it, feels, uh, it feels great. I mean, it's um, uh, very exciting for, for the whole team, for the company. And I think also for our respective uh, customers and, and markets. Um, uh, and we're very happy. Yeah, so tell me more about the company. Not everybody fully understands what the company is, what it does. Tell us more. So the company is uh, um, developing uh, light and vision uh, control technology. So basically allowing um, a better and a way to control light through transparent apertures. Material science at its best, um, we, we develop materials um, um, that are embedded in glass or other transparent materials to control light. Um, and we do that every day all the time, if it's in our house or in our office, if it's a shade or a blind or curtain, if it's in a car, if it's a sun visor or a rooftop visor, a side door visor, we do, we can, in, a, in an airplane, you have a cabin shade and we, we're, we're uh, enabling uh, um, uh, the control of light embedded in glass with our smart materials um, that we develop and manufacture really ourselves uh, throughout different end applications. We're actually built out of four yeah. distinct uh, business divisions that serves for and markets with these products, aerospace, automotive architecture, and also um, safety tech. And some of the clients uh, are some of the big names, Honda, Bombardier, Mercedes, Ford, Boeing, BMW. I mean, what do you yeah. um, provide and work with in these relationships with some of these names like Mercedes and BMW? What do they go to Ghazi for exactly? Um, so it's sometimes different product lines for different customers. If we're specifically talking about automotive like Daimler, um, so there's, a, there's a need to control light through uh, uh, the glass apertures of a car. If we'll take uh, an example on EVs, uh, most EVs today come with a glass roof, a very uh, big glass roof, with no more instruments to actually control the light through it. The reason is that they are sitting on batteries and that takes away the headspace. So they have no more room for hefty plastic and alum roofs, only glass, which can be very thin. Our technology is embedded into glass. Our materials by the biggest uh, glass manufacturers today uh, enable the electronic control of light, gradual control. It can block light or allow light in uh, within the glass itself. We replace sun visors on windshields, um, for instance, in, in, uh, in automotive applications. You talked about um, automotive and for aerospace, much of the same. Is it the glass on the front of the Boeing plane or something? Uh, exactly, exactly the same. Removing the need of a mechanical shutter, uh, these plastics coming up and down, uh, were embedded in the uh, glass itself. In the case of aerospace, we're actually a tier one vendor supplying today uh, Boeing and Airbus and nine jet manufacturers in serial production for many, many years. We have great visibility for our business to come. And they're using our materials uh, and uh, uh, our technologies to just control light better uh, inside the cabin, in the cockpit, um, for safety, for comfort. Um, it's, one of, um, it's one of the three key, uh, key things that uh, airlines are talking today when they talk about customer experience, is the light control in the cabin, and we provide for that. Were you comfortable with the price discovery of the IPO today? Because you know everybody looks at the balance sheet, you do the road show and so on and so forth. Uh, IPO price, $17, I believe. So um, were you comfortable with that? Did you think that was a good price point? Yes, I think it is. And I think if you understand the Gauzy story, we uh, went public uh, because, uh, because uh, that's what the business requires. We're serving as a tier one, tier two in long-term eight years, 10 years, zero production programs. Uh, in, uh, and in order to, uh, and to get these contracts that we have today, it, it's, a big, it's a big thing, but to get uh, a conviction for more and more uh, uh, business, um, being public was just gonna make it, uh, make it easier. So, you know, we, gave, we, we wanted to give uh, good investors, long-term investors, uh, uh, um, a good price to come in and, be, uh, and grow with us. So we're not looking at trade day one. 
it's a it's only primary, no secondary. It's really uh, a fundraise for our specific needs. We feel that we're going public for the right reasons and the right time for us. And we're going to look at this at long term um, um, growth. We're, uh, that's that's kind of how we review. So we're, we're happy with how we uh, well within the range that we uh, defined. And um, and um, yes, I mean, we're we're satisfied. Yeah, one of the few Tel Aviv companies, Tel Aviv based companies. So exciting uh, to represent there. Tell me a little bit about the goals, because when we think of your company, maybe we're leaning towards aerospace. We mentioned the glass in the front of the Boeing. We're leaning towards automotive, right? Like Daimler. We mentioned Honda and so on. Um, where else are we seeing your name popping up? What other kind of partnerships do you have or hope to have? So, I mean, we're going to, we have a, a list of announcements that we're waiting uh, uh, very anxiously to, to, to provide the market. We, we have uh, going to unlock a lot of business now uh, that we're uh, public. I'd like, to give, uh, uh, I'd like to give a spotlight on the fourth business. We, uh, we have four different business divisions. One of them is safety tech. That, uh, we're selling advanced driver assistance systems that evolved from another piece of glass in a car called the mirror. A mirror became electrochromic. Um, and then, uh, be, and then are, is, is just removed altogether. We are focused on commercial vehicles, buses, trucks, and coach. We have announced uh, a 10-year uh, uh, program with four trucks where they're going to, for the first time, remove mirrors completely and embed our um, ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, on their trucks to remove blind spots for a safer drive. We're the only company today that is actually removing mirrors on complete public transportation systems in the major, in major cities. We're on 3,000 buses in London. If you walk five minutes in the center of London, you're going to see a bus, a red bus with no mirrors, with ADAS from Gauzy. This is something that not many know, but that now they will. But we're uh, one, of, one of the leading vendors for that. That also evolved from another piece of glass that became smart by removing it and applying it with, uh, with uh, displays and, and cameras, but uh, really, uh, really evolved from, 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 from smart, uh, smart glass. Yeah, and as you, you have the presence in the U.S., Europe, France, Israel, Asia, other um, really uh, all over, but France really the standout. Yeah. What is it about France that um, you have 45, almost 46 percent of the revenue coming out of France? Um, so uh, that's a fair question. It's, uh, it's more of where we build. It's not that France is where we sell 45 percent of our business. It's it's coming out of our, we have a major production center. We are producing our own products through the very synthesis of a nanoparticle and a polymer in Tel Aviv, uh, next to Lyon, France, and next to Stuttgart in Germany, and here in the U.S. in Melbourne, Florida. But a lot of our production is actually coming out of France, and that's how you see it. It's not that 45% of the business is in France, but it's just, uh, yeah, it's just where we're producing more than anywhere else. Yeah. Right. Makes sense. Totally makes sense. Congratulations, y'all, and uh, to you and the team. Um, we'll continue to keep an eye on Gauzy. Thank you. Y'all, Paz Queso, yes. co-founder, Stay CEO, Gauzy, live Thanks. from the NASDAQ. Thanks. Okay. Thanks.